Okay guys, hey, I made it to Los Angeles. Uh, it was definitely a, a, a trip. Uh, my train got stopped and uh, I finally made it. I'm hooking up with some of my partners here that we're gonna get into some creative real estate. And really, the situation I'm finding is you can be really, really frugal in life. I mean, I've got it to the point where I'm not paying anything for mortgage, rent. I got very little bills. But then you just get to this place where you're stagnant and uh, you're not moving forward, you're not progressing forward. So I've talked to a lot of people in my position and you gotta make change. You gotta get out there and you gotta leverage your time and your resources to try to make something happen because obviously the good paying jobs are gone because uh, you just get into this comfortable situation where you, um, you can't move forward, you can't progress forward. That's what happens to me. So I've been doing some really deep thinking on the way over here. It actually took a couple hours because we got laid over. And I was just thinking, what am I, what am I going to have to do to um, get my family situation in a way where they are going to be able to support the huge amount of time it's going to take to start a uh, a real estate venture? Hey guys, what's up? Hey G for T, Tim, my good friend here in uh, Los Angeles area. And as I told you, I'm going to be headed out here. G for T is now getting back up on the saddle. We're we're getting the job. Tim's offered it to me. You know, he's a real estate investor. Um, beautiful home in the background uh, and finally um, we're getting back up on the saddle getting to work and uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, focusing in the Southern California region uh, helping people with real estate get involved in creative transactions uh, we'll start filming some of it so you guys get an idea of what's going on right now there's an opportunity where the banks are really screwing over people and Tim has made a couple big deals recently so he has some cash to put on the table Show him that uh, bank account receipt, and that's a valuable thing. So he is pulling me back into real estate. I've been out of it for five years, guys, living in the tiny home, down to one car, struggling, and uh, basically, this guy's pulling me back in. Uh, so what are we showing him right here? This is some of your uh, real estate uh, profits, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't like to brag. You're not all. bragging. People want reality, and yeah. we're not selling you guys a product or anything. We're just bringing some um, reality to bear. That's all. Well, yeah, all, all it is to, is just to show you that we are real, that we are willing to give you, say, $10,000 cash up front and 10000 when we close escrow. And you're wondering, do we have the money? Yes, we do. And that's it. If you want details, just contact George for the details. Yeah, yeah. I, you guys, I got my phone number down there below, my email. If you need to reach me and you're in the Southern California region, you got questions on real estate. I got 15 years of real estate experience as in title insurance. I know all about the intricate details of title and uh, escrow real estate and beyond. And uh, Tim's doing a lot of cool things. He's buying properties off of tax sales. You're buying individual lots. You're doing a little bit of development. Yep. And then we're focusing on the foreclosures and uh, doing some short sales, working with the banks, bank workouts and stuff like that. So anyways, you got me, man. Finally, I think mentally, emotionally, I'm to the point where I can now get back on the saddle. I appreciate the job. Sure. And um, in general, um, you were telling me, you know, for a while there, you weren't homeless, but you were living with uh, folks and stuff. And yeah. it starts to wear on your mind. I mean, you, you, if, you, if you, you get to a position where you get dragged down, and it's hard to be ambitious. Could yeah. you talk about that really quick? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if you, you know, I, I used to have, you know, half a million in the bank. I used to have 24 properties in Florida. I used to have a bunch of houses here in LA. And then obviously the market crashed, lost many of the houses. And then with that, it's very uh, hard psychologically to just continue going. Okay. So then slowly you become less ambitious, less ambitious. And then now I'm back in the game. You know, make doing deals, and that's what I've been trying to tell George is that you have to live in an environment where you can be successful, where you can feel successful, and where you are ambitious to do real estate deals or, or do something you know really productive. So, anyways, that'll be it. That's a really quick video, guys. First video of the real estate series. I'm going to be out here for a couple of days out of the week. We're going to put up tons of content, and we're going to give you guys the intricate details of how he's making money, how I'm going to be making money and how we're going to be having loads of fun doing a lot of creative stuff, interesting stuff, fun stuff in the LA Southern California region. So once again, if you guys have property that you got questions on, maybe you're in trouble on, contact me below. I'll put you in touch with Tim. We'll talk to you 
and see if there's something we can do or maybe there's something we can't do. So this is reality TV, guys. G for T, getting back up on the horse again, saddle. I think emotionally I'm there. And basically, Tim approached me as a friend and he said, George, come out here. I'll hold your hand. We'll get you back. You know, we both were in the situation where, you know, we were, we were down in the dumps and now he's pulled himself out of it. Well, I'm next, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. God bless, guys. Peace out. Take care. More to come.